first thing that comes to mind when you talk about food waste is leftover food. Actually starts in your kitchen before you even cook the food. But that's not where the extent of food waste lies. It starts all the way from the farm where the off looking vegetables and fruits are not selected to go to the market. All the way from the farmer to the wholesaler to the retailer where on the shelf everybody wants the perfect looking carrot, perfect looking apple. Somebody goes to like a dadar market after the peak hours are done or you go to like APMC or wherever these wholesale places are where our retail vegetable vendors pick up, you'll see piles and piles of greens just lying on the road which the BMC eventually comes and picks up. Our generation has forgotten it but if anybody goes and asks their grandmoms or even moms they always used up every part of the fruit and vegetable that they knew to their knowledge was edible. If they are making uh, something with dudhi, the dudhi ka chilka would be used to make kofta. In the south, they make a lovely chutney out of orange peel and lemon peel with coconut and orad dal and chana dal and stuff like that. I wanted to come up with recipes that people want to make. They want to save the scraps and make and not because they want to just I have to be environmentally conscious, chilka hai, chutney bana do. And yeah, that's how I started doing research. When I peeled my carrot, I'm like, okay, I have so much carrot skin, what do I do with it? You know, I've been following a lot of chefs uh, on Instagram, on, on social media, and trying to learn more about how restaurants and, you know, cafes and chefs all over the world are trying to sort of reduce uh, wastage and the output from their restaurants. And that's when I sort of uh, started following uh, Arena on uh, Instagram, trying to see what she does. We happened to just connect. The food waste aspect of was something that Sumit was very interested in. Back at home, you know, it's something that, you know, a lot of uh, houses do, whether, you know, you're adding beetroot to theplas or, you know, carrot to theplas. It's something that, you know, people do at home, but restaurants sort of don't walk the line and, you know, tend to sort of stuck. I came and spent uh, some shifts here at the beverage counter and in the kitchen in general to see when they're doing their prep for the day, what all was being used and what was ending up in the dustbin. You know, Arena started working with our teams where we started going through the back end, trying to see the wastage, you know, or what we felt could not be used at the restaurant and trying to see if we can utilize it in some sort of way. I think the carrot taco is the best of the entire menu and it's, I think, one of the best sellers at the cafe as well. Where we took a conventional recipe which is popular across the world, in fact, not just Bombay. We'll use uh, the carrot apple ginger pulp as a base. And it's baked, it's not fried. So there's no maida, there's no wheat flour, there's no cornmeal. It's just the fiber of the vegetables and the apple. We do a detox tea here on the menu, again, which has been a very uh, successful beverage on the menu. Pomegranate peels have so much nutrition in it, but unfortunately, because of the texture, it's not something that you can actually chew or eat. Same thing with the orange. All the vitamin C and the essential oils are in the peel. So we uh, dehydrate those, and that becomes the main uh, base for our detox tea. stems and stalks and seeds of the fruits and vegetables have more nutrients and fiber than the fruit and vegetable itself. If you're buying one kilo of cauliflower, the stems are going to be at least a good 200 to 50 grams. You're getting the most of your money. You're not throwing away 250 grams into the dustbin. Less food, less things are going into landfills, less is going into the dustbin. You know, we're fortunate, but there's, there's so many out there in India who don't get to, you know, have their sort of daily meals and, you know, it's only right from an India perspective that without sounding too preachy, it's very important. We, all, all of us really uh, contribute towards reducing food wastage. It's a huge sort of no-no.